First reported last month, Central Indiana is about to get an amazing new weapon for its search and rescue arsenal. Today, 24-hour news aide anchor Eric Halverson learned what it will be like to have a hovercraft in town. Eric. Well, and we think the concept surprises people. They ask, why does Central Indiana need one of these? Well, once you've seen a hovercraft in action, you begin to understand. All set. <laughs> Chris Fitzgerald often has the Wabash River to himself because it can be too shallow for anything but his hovercraft. It doesn't really matter how deep the water is, whether there's rocks or ice or snow. Because it's nine inches above the surface. Hovercraft doesn't know any difference between land and water. It's that amphibious quality that makes the craft so appealing to rescuers. It moves from water to land on a cushion of air. It's a simple concept. This is where it all starts. That's very complicated to produce. Central Indiana's new hovercraft came from Neoteric, Fitzgerald's factory in Terre Haute. It takes us about 600 hours to produce a craft. Fitzgerald is still trying to develop the hovercraft market, but he knows firefighters and police departments appreciate these machines, especially once they learn how to fly them. They tend to be a real ego buster in the hands of the novice. That's why it takes hours of training, ultimately learning the spins and other techniques that will give the pilot the skill needed for rescue maneuvers. Fitzgerald says a hovercraft shows its value in situations that would be off limits to any other vehicle. Well, if you can use some other vehicle, then you don't need the hovercraft. It's sort of a poor man's helicopter. And it's, um, the, the big difference, though, is it's much less expensive and much safer to use. If they needed to rescue someone in that debris, say during a flood, the hovercraft could swoop right to the victim to be pulled on board to safety. That ability will soon be available here. And the new hovercraft will be bigger than the one we tested today. While it will be kept at an Indianapolis fire station, the craft will be available for emergencies across central Indiana. It's a $57,000 machine paid for by a federal homeland security grant.